Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Training here. Uh, today is Wednesday, April 24th. I'll be going over my recap for today. Um, today I had uh, four winners and one loser, and the loser was uh, a bigger one. Uh, but a uh, total of uh, $26 um, for today. So let's get started. So uh, I had to uh, pick up some shares to short for MTP here um, in the morning. And I had a trigger order here around uh, 10.33 here. Um, but it didn't get filled. So um, if you can see show close orders so here you can see I have a trigger uh, for MTP on the short side uh, my I had a, a stop uh, stop short trigger uh, at 354 uh, with a limit of 352 so it triggered uh, but it didn't uh, get any fill because I think someone took the took market order all the shares um, so that, that was kind of disappointing and it, it would have been a nice trade um, but uh, nonetheless, I scouted out a few trades and I don't think they were the best setups, but so JMIA, so JMIA, um, on the daily here, uh, on the daily, you can see it's curling up, uh, on the larger time frame, you can see it's creating higher lows here. Um, and so I was kind of long bias for this and I saw this, uh, I think it was breaking this, uh, flag here so I went ahead and went along just right there and it had a big volume spike during that moment uh, but there wasn't any follow-through uh, but I sold most of my shares up there and I stopped the rest when it break below um, this pivot pivot low which was like 37.80 or so and that was just a $19 winner um, the other trade I took was MU so MU um, so it had the same flag here um, and then this this prior uh, support resistance became prior uh, support here so I bought this flag break um, I'm trying to hold uh, a little longer so I sold half here um, and then I was hoping it would retest this level so if you draw another line here at 325 or 4325 you can see that it was holding that level um, it was it peaked out here then it kind of retested these levels at 325 so I set my stop there and you can see it's got a little cup and handle for on the short side uh, so that's where I stopped out um, I was hoping it could retest this and go higher um, to a break high of day uh, but I didn't get there so I, that ended up stopping me out and it went to a low of 43s uh, but that was just a small $35 winner uh, I was up uh, 70 unrealized but I took half um, but uh, I wanted to practice holding my winners a little longer um, so that's pretty much the risk of holding it longer is potentially you can get stopped out uh, sooner so the other trade I did was ZM. So ZM had a huge sell-off day. Um, I think it's the uh, profit taking after the spike from yesterday. Um, and I saw this 40, uh, 64, 50 level I'm holding, and then it kind of triggered a lot of stops here. You can see that spike. So I thought there was uh, no the selling pressure was kind of dying off there. Um, and then I saw it breaking breaking above this trend line. So I went long uh, and then I downsized a bit and added added and then I think downsized but I ended up uh, stopping out for a $98 loss for Zoom um, and I was really hoping it to uh, have a little quick spike uh, retest VWAP. Um, that was my plan, um, but it ended up uh, being really heavy 
and kind of start to sell off. So I ended up stopping out there uh, for a $98 loss. Um, and then I took two after hours uh, short. So Facebook, so uh, the past few days, uh, I've been seeing a lot of earnings uh, winners. They have a huge spike. And then when I see they're overextended on the five minute chart, the 9 EMA, I like to short it once all the buying pressure is out and you read there's a lot of uh, profit takers um, that will fade the stock back down so it's been working now but i don't think it's a uh, a really good strategy but so far it's been working um but what i saw here was facebook have a descending triangle uh, off this 202 push with high volume and I saw uh, the volume was fading so i went ahead and short there with my wrist off of the 20150s. Uh, went ahead and took some profits here and here. Uh, and then as you can see, it's fade down lower to 195. So that was a $48 winner uh, there on Facebook. Uh, then I saw another one of Microsoft. So Microsoft had good earnings and it spiked all the way up to 130. Uh, saw a little. Uh, it's getting weak here, so I shorted there at 130.50, uh, covered at 130, and then stopped the rest at break even. Uh, I almost shorted again uh, up here when I saw it was uh, exhausted um, when it was breaking these lows here at uh, 60s. I almost shorted it, um, but um, it was pretty much the end of the towards the end of the uh, after hours. So I just uh, stopped trading. But it faded back down to 129. Um, so I've been seeing these a lot where they're uh, ga gapping up after hours and just uh, selling off. Uh, same as a snap from yesterday. Um, so you can see yesterday I had a huge spike and then it just sold off back to the even. So I will try to be uh, careful on those uh, going smaller size to make sure. I don't get destroyed, but um, I will wait for the backside. Um, but that's all I have for today. Um, $26 overall um, from these five stocks. Um, hopefully, um, I, there will be more uh, place tomorrow morning. And hopefully, everyone stayed safe. So, as always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh!